we have this short of a ventriloquist doll, sorry, um, and I used to have one. So what I think, I, what I think is, I think this is a doll of one of the characters in, because I'll tell you why, it's probably not, but I'll tell you why, because there was a, I'm pretty sure there was like a book or something, where the toy maker turned the fourth doctor once into a doll. It's really creepy. I mean, I remember seeing the image and I was kind of creeped out. Um, but it definitely looks like one of the characters. I don't know who. If it was to be, I, I would just assume the fourth. The 14th Doctor. <laughs> So, Legends, we got um, a lot of 60th anniversary stuff. We got a brand new trailer um, yesterday uh, yesterday night. And um, I wanted to do a video um, that night, but it was too late and I wasn't allowed to do anything like that. So, we're going to be doing it today. Um, I've watched the trailer, but I'm obviously going to do a reaction just so you guys can see my reaction um and yeah we're also going to be doing a breakdown video and discussing the glitch trailers as well the glitch teasers um and uh the characters and we're also going to be talking about the plot so yeah we have a lot of 60th anniversary stuff so first we're going to be doing the reaction and then the breakdown and then after that, we're going to discuss the characters. And then after that, the plot. And then after that, we're going to be talking about the glitch teasers. And, uh, yeah. Okay, Legends. Why did this yeah. place come back? It's a say goodbye. I don't think that's a play. It's a spaceship in trouble. We've got an old intro. Like in 2005. Don't forget to click below Shut to subscribe up, to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel. I mean, that was a great trailer. That That was a good trailer. That was honestly probably one of the best trailers we've seen. I mean, obviously we have seen good trailers. I mean, um, the first one was a good one, but wow, that is that's got a lot of detail in. Uh, so we got the episode names. I didn't really pay attention to them, but um, I have seen this before, so I'll cover that. But yeah, I mean it's crazy because we now know the episode names. We also because there was leaks before about the episode names and eight, it was right. Um, but yeah, and then also, you know, there was, you know, like, so we now know the actual names of the episodes. We know uh, quite a lot of stuff, actually. Um, the Toy Maker is confirmed, um, but I'll get into that soon. That was a good trailer. <laughs> And we got the old 2005 trailer, uh, not trailer, we got the 2005 um, title sequence from Doc 2. I don't know if you recognised that, Legends, but yeah, we basically um, got that. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if that's going to be part of the title sequence, but it's not just that. We also saw in one of the glitch teasers, there was like this vortex. Um, I wonder if that's to do with the title sequence, but we also have the 2005, but in a different style, so I kind of want them to bring back a 2005 kind of title sequence, it's sad that ten, uh, 14th Doctor is only going to appear for three episodes, I mean that's just, that's really sad, honestly, it's, I just, I, I feel like they've wasted it just sucks but 
yeah, anyway, that was my reaction to the newest 60th anniversary trailer. It's decent. So, yeah. So, now we're going to be doing a breakdown of the trailer I just reacted to. So, uh, yeah. So, the first shot is of David Tennant going into this market at night. Um, and there's also seems to be, like, robot-looking things. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. And then the next shot we have is of uh, 14th Doctor looking kind of like he noticed something. It's probably Donna. He probably noticed Donna. I don't know. Because there's two shots in this trailer where he looks like he's looking at Donna. And then we have a shot of Donna Noble... Um, and, um, yeah, she's just, it's the same shot we've seen, um, before, so. And then we got this shot of, like, a, um, like a spaceship, which we did kind of see in the first trailer. Um, and it seems to be in the sky crashing or something. I, I, I don't know. Then we got a shot of Donna Noble... Um, walking around with a box, I'm pretty sure now, I'm pretty sure in a leaked plot of it, where she was holding a box, and the, the stuff that she's holding kind of falls, and the doctor goes to help her, and then he finds out after the box shows her face who it is, and then he decides to just go off, because he knows that Donna will die if, you know, and then, um... After that, he hears Donna call Rose, and obviously he's kind of uh, thinking that it's Rose Tyler. I mean, that'd be a bit weird. And then we got another shot of the spacecraft fin in the sky crashing. It's obviously crashing. I mean, you can see there's fire, there's explosives, there's... Well, not really explosives, but it's definitely bright. Then we got a shot of the, uh, of the 14th Doctor with Rose um, and he's saying it looks like a spaceship in trouble or something like that, I don't know. So obviously, you know, he's saying that to Rose either because she's a stranger or because she knows about the Doctor from Sylvia and Wilford. And then we have a shot of... Um, the Wrath Warriors, which we did see in the first trailer. And, uh, yeah, I gotta admit, I'm loving... Is it CGI? But I like the costume. It looks pretty cool. I wouldn't mind dressing up as that in Comic-Con. <laughs> and then we have the first ever name for the 60th anniversary trailer. Uh, not trailer. We have the name... For the first episode in the 60th anniversary, the Star Beast. Now, if you did not know, which you probably didn't, the Star Beast is what the comic was called when Meet the Beep was introduced in the comics. And he's never been in the TV series, so it's cool how they're bringing like a comic name um, into the TV series of Doc 2. I mean, that's just crazy. Oh, and we also got the 2005 looking, um, like, we have the 2005, uh, title sequence looking vortex, which we did have in 2005, and it's cool, um, I think we might get a title sequence with that, um, and it looks a little bit updated, um, definitely some changes there, um, I, I don't know, because there's, like, two vortex, because there's one in the Glitch T-Zone, whatever. And then we have a shot of Donna Noble. And in this scene, she is saying, what is happening? In like a sad, scared voice. Now, this is obviously probably Donna maybe retaining her memories, possibly. Or it could be that something has happened to her, or something has happened in front of her. We don't know. We don't know. So, 
And then we got a shot of David Tennant's ten, uh, 14th Doctor, sorry, nearly said 10th. Um, basically, messing with controls, we also have a shot of him. Um, we also have a shot of him in his, like, blue room with, I don't know, his eyes look like he's about to die or, like, about to go to sleep or he's, like, trying to stay awake. But at the same time, he's saying sorry, Donna. So it's like he's trying to say sorry because something's going to happen. Um, and then we have uh, the blue version of the title sequence, which we also saw in 2005. And we have the second episode name, the blue, the, the sorry, Wild Blue Yonder. <laughs> Such a weird name, but yeah. And then we have a uh, image of 14th Doctor looking kind of confused or something. This could be when he sees Donna Noble again because, yeah, it's probably going to be. I don't know. And then we have a shot of Donna Noble basically with the same face as the 14th Doctor in that shot before. So this might actually be when they reunite. And I don't know if anyone can tell, I saw this on a Who Culture video. Um, but if you look there, you can see that there's a bit of uh, Wilford's hat. Because uh, in the filming pictures, he has this hat that he's going to be in uh, in the wheelchair. She's actually wheeling, um, flipping Wilford in the scene, so, yeah, I, I wish we saw Wilford in the 60th anniversary, uh, soon, but I guess we're not, I guess we're only gonna see when it airs, and then we got a shot of, um, we got a shot of 10th, uh, bleh, I need to stop saying 10th Doctor, <laughs> of, um, Neil Patrick with the 14th Doctor, played by David Tennant, um, basically toy maker doctor um where they're both dancing but this is obviously because the toy maker is forcing the doctor i mean he's trying to find out what the hell is going on so and then we have this very 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 interesting clip what seems to be like a vanquilatress oh my god i can't pronounce i actually can't pronounce <laughs> Um, we have this shot of a ventriloquist doll, sorry, um, and I used to have one, but this shot, I don't know, I don't know who that's a doll of, um, so what I think, what I think is, I think this is a doll of one of the characters in, because I'll tell you why, it's probably not, but I'll tell you why. Because there was a, I'm pretty sure there was like a book or something where the toy maker turned the fourth doctor once into a doll. It's really creepy. I mean, I remember seeing the image and I was kind of creeped out. Um, but it definitely looks like one of the characters. I don't know who. If it was to be, I, I would just assume the fourth. The 14th doctor. <laughs> But, you know, he's right there in the shot, so it's obviously not him. It's pretty creepy. I mean, you know, flipping Slappy in Doc 2. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we can do that. Um, and then we have a shot, which a lot of people like, I think. I don't know. This is by far my favourite shot and also my favourite look for the Doctor. I mean, you know, you know, the thing is... Confused Adipo's already said it, but he's in his waistcoat with glasses. Oh my god, this shot is so amazing. This should be this should be his main costume. Honestly, we need a doctor one day that just comes with glasses. Honestly, I would love that. It would be amazing. Um and then we also have the third episode. Uh well, the last with 14th Doctor. Thank God I didn't say 10th. Um, with the old Vortex again, uh, called The Giggle. Now, when he says... Mom, 
when it says the giggle, it reminds me of the master in the sense that he does something to the human race, corrupts them. Um, but this time, it's a giggle that makes everyone go insane, a bit like Bird Box, kind of. Right. Um, and then we have a shot of Meet the Beep in what appears to be Eva Donna's like house or something or in like the toy shop and she basically just pokes his eye which i've experienced poked eyes i mean who haven't it's really painful but he reacts in a way that's like why did you do that i mean obviously because you know it's pretty painful but yeah um meet the beep he just is kind of annoyed i mean who wouldn't and then uh, we have a shot of Donna Noble, and she says, what the hell is going on? <laughs> so, yeah, it's an interesting trailer, and then that's where it ends. We've got an interesting breakdown there. Um, I'm excited. I'm honestly thrilled for this trailer. Well, 60th anniversary of Doc 2. I mean, it's going to be so amazing. I just, oh, unfortunately, the 14th Doctor, he's not really going to last, and that's kind of sad, and the thing is, it's probably a one-time thing, if that is the case, it's very sad, but whatever, so yeah, we're going to now do, we're going to talk about the characters, I think, so we have uh, all the characters, well, I'm going to be explaining some of the, well, the, all of the characters that we will be seeing in the 60th. So, we have, um, Sean Temple, we have, uh, Wilfred Mott, uh, Rose Temple, and then we have the Doctor, played by Shudi Gatwa, and then we have, uh, Sylvia Noble, we also have, um, Shirley and Brinjum. Okay. And then we have Catherine Tate played uh playing um Donna Noble. And then we have the Doctor and we also have uh Beep the Meep, the Wrath Warriors, possibly Kate Stewart, we might have Martha Jones, and we might have uh Susan Foreman, and we also might get um, well, we also get the toy maker played by Neil Patrick Harris. Um, we also have, uh, we might have the 11th Doctor, we might have Jodie Whittaker's Doctor. And if that is the case, if that's all the characters there is, oh my god, it is gonna be an epic special. But yeah, that's that was just a quick. Um, bit of me explaining the characters to enter the 60th anniversary. So, uh, yeah. But, basically, this is me explaining the plot. So, basically, mm -hmm. what I think is the plot, and I'm sure a lot of people do, is the Doctor gets his old face back because of uh, the toy maker now um, the toy maker releases this like giggling laugh on the human race turning all the humans into this psychopathic violent um, you know uh, type of people they do the unthinkable they do violent things because they're being controlled by this giggle um, and that's why the third episode is The Giggle. And then, uh, Donna receives her memories, probably because of the toy maker. Um, or maybe it's something to do with the Doctor, I don't know. Um, and then, um, the Doctor teams up with Donna's family, obviously not Donna, because she'll die otherwise. And... They try to stop the toy maker. The unit gets involved. Kate 
talks to the doctor, tries to sort something out. And then, um, afterwards, the doctor has defeated the um, toy maker. And because of that, he gets to regenerate into Shuri Gatwa's doctor. Maybe the beep, on the other hand, I think that he is just trying to escape the Wrath Warriors, trying to imprison him or whatever. So he befriends Rose, he befriends Donna's family, and the Doctor thinks that he's friendly, and then after he's defeated Toymaker, or before, he tries to stop Beep, and then, yeah, I, I don't know, that's just what I think the 60th anniversary is about, um, and it's, yeah, so... That's just what I think the plot is. So, yeah. So I'm going to try and figure out what the um, third glitch teaser is about. I'm not going to do the rest, well, the ones before, just because I don't really know how to. Plus, I kind of just want to finish this video. So, we have a shot of um, the toy maker um, juggling while looking at the doctor. So, I think this is when, well, it's obviously when the Doctor confronts the toy maker, but, I don't know, um, this is obviously him with his uh, plan to ruin the human race, so, I don't know, we'll, we'll just... And then you got the Doctor and uh, Donna trying to... Um, I don't know, because the Doctor's obviously puzzled at what to do. I mean, he's seen the toy maker before, um, and, yeah, so. And the first shot we get off his trailer is, um, these are the rules of the game. So that's obviously to do with the toy maker. And also, in this shot with David Tennant and Donna Noble, it kind of looks like David Tennant has uh, makeup. I know that's probably just the lighting, but I don't know, that's just me. <laughs> and then we have the shot of um, Neil basically just dancing, um, which we've seen so many times. We've seen it in the trailer, uh, multiple trailers, actually. We've seen it um, in the filming pictures. And, uh, yeah. And then we have what appears to be... Uh, and then we have, um, yeah, so, I, I, ju I just realised I did it in reverse, but whatever, it, it's fine, it's fine, um, I still explained it, so, yeah, um, but yeah, that's basically where we're going to end this, there's been a lot of 60th anniversary content on this video, um, and yeah, that trailer, that was, Probably one of the coolest trailers I've seen. I'll play it right now. And then I'll end it. Why did this face come back? To say goodbye. Driving you mad. Laughing at the human race. Wow.